An Edmonton family has quite a tale to tell after a weekend trip to the mountains. As Amanda Anderson reports, a surprise stowaway tried to hitch a ride back to the city with them. Vincent Bouchard's backpacking trip in Jasper National Park with his kids is one he'll never forget. Not because of the beautiful scenery, but the car trouble they had leaving. Yeah, all the lights start flashing on my dashboard, like uh, check engine lights, uh, ABS lights, oil temperature, everything was flashing. He pulled over to investigate. This is what he saw under the hood. Uh, yeah, I was obviously surprised and I just started laughing because I was like... <laughs> Why? What is doing there? A large marmot was staring right at him. So that means I just drove like 9K with a marmot in my engine compartment, which is, I, I don't know, pretty crazy. Dale Gino with Wild North says there are several reasons a marmot will seek shelter under the hood of a vehicle, like trying to hide from predators. So if they get frightened, they'll jam up underneath your car and, and kind of hide. Um, also, uh, sometimes they can be attracted by um, the sweet smells of uh, like antifreeze or fluids that we use in our vehicles. Bouchard used a stick, hoping to scare the animal off. And didn't want to move, was just like, you know, whistling, like being clearly uh, scared. They're a relatively large animal. They can be 20 pounds and they still manage to wiggle their way inside there. A Parks Canada employee was called to help pull the animal from the engine compartment. James McCormick says they responded to 4,000 wildlife related calls last year, but this kind of call is unique. Animals trapped in vehicles, not that common, maybe one a year at the most, and it's each time it's kind of a different problem solving mission. Bouchard's ordeal didn't end there. Finally on their way again after two hours, his dashboard lights were still flashing. A mechanic in the nearby Jasper town site found the marmot had chewed a wire. Wildlife experts urge people to check their vehicles for stowaways. Um, we have seen here at Wild North things like marmots and groundhogs that have hitched a ride, uh, ground squirrels. We've seen birds. Oh, I guess I should open the hood every time I come back to the parking lot, but honestly, I don't think I'll do that. I mean, you know, I think the chances are pretty small that this happens again. Amanda Anderson, CTV News, Edmonton.